What up, world? It's your boy, Mark Waldo Ward, Super Facts Show, Super Facts Network. Today, we joined by Seven Kings, Cash Money, Rich Gangs, own GSO Fat. How you doing, brother? It's good, family. Chilling, chilling. Um, I mean, we, we might as well start off, start with the newest song, the uh, the gentleman, Young e, Young e and Ace. Y'all can y'all can check that out on any, any streaming digital streaming platform. Dirty Glove Bastard, Mask On. Um, I mean, you, you murdered that. Ju- that you, you you murdered that, John. But uh, I, I I don't think a lot of cats know about Young e and Ace like that. What? How, how'd you get hip to him? Um. Really, man, that's my partner, bro, man. Uh, young and we be, you know, taking the heels. I can dig it. I can dig it. Hey, um, I know people be asking, probably ask you this all the time, but uh, how, how'd you get the name? What's GSO mean? GSO mean gang shit on it. Let me be like gang, gang with the team, bag up. Dump. Hey, I know this going to come out left field, but you ever heard of somebody named Greg, Greg Isles? Who? Greg Isles. Greg Isles? Yeah. Uh, how, how do you say the name of your city? Natchez. Natchez. I, I know about yeah. Natchez. There, there's an author from your, your town called Greg Isles, and he, he wrote th- these these two trilogies about this this lawyer, Penn Cage. I mean, he a law enforcement motherfucker because he's an asshole, but uh, it, it describes Natchez in like, like great motherfucking detail. I've actually never heard it said aloud before. And it, and it it sounds like it's a it's a beautiful city. It's it's, it's pretty like downtown and shit. Yeah, and, like, and like, all them big houses, but it's really like slave shit down there, bro. Yeah, no, nah, that that's the other thing. Homeboy be getting into like the divisions and shit, and uh, all all the 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 strife and and, and torment that's still inherent in the town. So before we got interrupted, you you were saying about the slavery shit because like like I don't think you heard my point. They the, uh they talk about the uh, racial divides in the book a lot too, or in the series of books. Yeah, bro, it's really just a lot of like antebellum homes and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of slavery homes and old shit. Like it ain't really nothing young, nothing done for like the young people. Yeah, nah, they make it seem like it's like it's like a little bit for a few rich people, and then the rest of the town is struggling. Yeah, yeah, bro. That's exactly how it is, bro. Nah, I, 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 I can dig it. I just never met. I just never met nobody from there before. But the, 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 the first trilogy was like really good. But like I said, that, that, that's neither here nor there. You know, I, I want to congratulate you on. Uh, you know, I, 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 I can tell that you didn't just get signed to Cash Money. Like, like from the way that Burman be talking about you, like he's enthusiastic about your music. So you know that that shit. Like I said, congratulations. Appreciate it, big bro. But I'm I'm curious though. Before you linked up with Birdman, how'd you link up with King Noah? Um, I used to do um when I had got out of juvenile, I had started doing on uh, Instagram, the freestyle videos, and uh, one of them had came across um on the Noah partners, and they had hit me up on Instagram, and then we were just talking. And since then, you know. So how'd you find out about the the cash money situation? Did Noah tell you that it was it, it, it was like he was working on it? They surprised you with it? Yeah, he kind of like surprised me with it. I was in the hotel. He was like, hey, go downstairs and get some out the truck for me. And then when I walked downstairs, Slim was down, like downstairs in the lobby. Damn. Damn, that's what's up. Yep. What'd he say to you? Like, welcome to the family type shit? He was like, oh. Um, you next Lil Wayne. Oh, keep listening to Noah. Just keep listening to Noah. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. We're going we gonna to do some business in the future. I uh, like the show. And I waited like a few months. Then we start popping our shit out. Nah, hell yeah. You, you, you definitely been turning up. Um, should that, that is, would you say that uh, your song with Boosie, the Diddy Bob Jones, uh, your, your biggest song to date? Yeah, I can say that. That's about, my biggest song that's out right now, but I'm finna drop my um my first tape, Ports of the Trenches, this month. So everybody need to stay tuned, you know what I'm saying? That bitch gonna be retired. 
you know, I, I, I listen to your Spotify, you know, you got about, I get what I say about 11, 12 songs on there. So I, li I listen to them all repeatedly. And it'd be hard for me to answer this question because all your songs are so strong, but w which one would you pick to be the best, your best solo song? Cause like you, you, you don't need no name feature to make good music. You feel me? Yeah, I say, um, Trippin' is out right now. Yeah. I say Trippin'. Tri trippin' strong. Hey, on the Diddy Bob Jones with uh, Boosie, you said you said you can't dance, and you know I, I ain't got front. I can't dance neither, but I, I I I suspect it's probably for different reasons. Why why, why can't you dance? You know what I'm saying? I can hit my Diddy. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can do. Yeah, I, I can dig it. I I I got I got the the, the slimmest of, of Diddy Bops. <laughs> That's all I can do with my diddy, man. That's why I was saying the song. Hey, I can't dance, but I can do that diddy, though. Yes, sir. I can dig it. Hey, sp speaking of bop, so man, that 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 that, that thuggish lady, that 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 shit's definitely a bop. I'm, I'm I'm curious though. You you ever had a girl like the one you described in the song? Yeah, for sure. I got a Mr. Girl right now. Yeah. What 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 what, what if if uh. Let, let, let's say there was a young man that was less experienced with dealing with that type of female. What would be your advice to uh, for, for, for him to keep her? She, if she listen, keep her. But if she don't listen, gotta get somebody else, bro. I see I that. Always make sure your bitch listen, bro. If, bitch, if that hoe ain't listening, man, keep that hoe. But if she, <laughs> if she listening, you can keep that hoe. You feel me? Hey, shit, wise words, brother, wise words. Hey, let, 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 let's say you're talking to somebody who, who don't understand in the slightest, and I, I saw you just performed at a Larry Hoover Day concert. How, how would you explain to them who Larry Hoover is? Man, I really had missed the concert, but um, Larry Hoover, like my uncle, man. Oh, oh, Larry Hoover Jr., my uncle. Oh, for real, Square Biz, that's what's up. I think uh I think I think a lot of people don't really understand who Larry Hoover actually is and, and the reason he's incarcerated, you know, because yeah, uh, you know it was really like you know how it be, bro. But now they, it's starting to be how how it's supposed to be. Yeah, nah, nah. I'm I'm, I'm glad because you, you know I'm from DC and and we was listening to rap a lot of shit, you know, like in the mid '90s. You know, what I'm saying copping like Scarface albums and shit. So I've been hearing all them Larry. I don't know if you know about it, but. uh Larry Hoover been doing intros on rap a lot albums forever, so 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 we've yeah. been we we've been knew about who Larry Hoover was, and then you know I I, I got I got I got a lot of uh, I mean folks literally and uh figuratively in Chicago, but uh, I know a lot of people in Chicago, so I'm, I'm I'm well aware of what Larry Hoover did for the community, and I I, I just think it's a beautiful thing that artists like yourself is bringing re recognition to the real story. Yeah, for sure, bro. Appreciate it, man. Oh no doubt, shit. Like like I said, I, I appreciate uh pe people like you shining a light on things like that that need to, because you know before the end that motherfuckers didn't know. But um a another John I fucked with that song we, we uh it it's over the John with you and Young Al, um Young Al's on on the same label, right? Yeah. Y'all got any plans on doing any joint projects or anything? Because I I ain't gonna lie, the chemistry on that song it was was pretty good. Oh um, man, we got a lot of songs already. No, we got a few songs, bro, already, so I ain't no telling what we might do with it. That shit, throw a cover on that bitch called the EP, you know? Yeah, so. What you be doing besides music? What, what would you say your uh, number one leisure time activity is? Um, I be playing the game, but um, I be acting too, though, bro. I'm in the movie, um, the Dirty Third, the new, the new generation. Got like what? a big role, main role in the movie. Oh shit, that's what's up. Where, where's that gonna be at? Shit, it's gonna be everywhere. Shit, I could dig it. That's what's up. Well, what kind of character do you play? Shit, me. I just be myself in that hole, man. I really, I really made my own lines. Like, I just been that like they wanted me to be me. You feel me? So I just whatever they said, I just said it. However I feel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like camera on paid in full or some shit. Yeah, you know, some shit. That's what's up. So since we talking about, I, don't know. I, I ain't never watched it, but you know, you ain't never watched Paid in Full. No, I don't watch TV like that. Oh, I ain't man. never been a fan of TV like that. 
Oh, no, I, 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 I can dig it. I ain't the biggest TV watcher in the world either, you know, other than Happy Wife, Happy Life. But Payton Fogo, Payton Fogo hard as a motherfucker. I, get, I guarantee you fuck with that shit. I'm going to go watch the hoe. Man, man, ne ne next time, ne man, when, when you got your next single or, 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 or big move or something, we got to do an episode. And I, I, I got to get your opinion on that. But um, before we get out of here, can, can you tell me a little bit about uh, some of the stuff you got coming up? Man, I got a mixtape dropping this month. Um, Voice of the Trenches, everybody stay tuned. Make sure y'all follow me on social media. GSO.PAJT. Get in your clubhouse. GSO.PAJT. Don't forget to follow the label. Seven Kings ENT, the number seven is ENT. You hear me? A whole lot of gang shit. Rich gang, cash money for life. Dumb. Hey, bro, I, I, I appreciate your time. I love the music. Thank you for uh, taking time off your haircut. I see you looking real chunky in that in that, in that barber chair over there, so you're definitely doing big <laughs> things, man. I appreciate it, big bro, for having me. Oh, no doubt, man. Hey, like I said, thank you for your time, and you take it light. All right, gang.